we're trying to do is understand how well countries are closing their gender gap across health, education, economic and political criteria. And we're really trying to see how well countries are distributing resources and opportunities between women and men, regardless of whether these are rich countries or poor countries and have high levels of resources or low levels of resources. We cover 135 countries in the index this year. The highest ranking countries are once again the Nordic countries. Um, Iceland, Finland, Norway and Sweden uh, place at the very top of the rankings. At the very bottom are countries such as um, Chad, Pakistan and Yemen. We find that there are fairly large differences across the different regions that, that we're covering. So for example, no country um, from the Middle East or North Africa region features in the top 100 of the index. In comparison, Africa has five countries that feature in the top 30 um, of the index. So there are large differences um, across the, the different regions, but also within the different regions. Women make up 50% of the population of any country. That's 50% of the human capital available to any country. If that human capital is not um, invested in, is not educated, is not healthy, countries are going to lose out in terms of their long-term competitive potential. So governments and business need to be collaborating to ensure that the right kind of environment is provided for women to be economically integrated. In many cases, that means uh, being able to balance work and family. In other places, that means access to finance, childcare structures. So there are a number of different factors that both governments and the private sector need to be collaborating on to ensure that women can be economically integrated and in the long term countries can benefit from their talent. Six out of the top 10 performing countries in the Global Competitiveness Index are also amongst the top 20 in the Gender Gap Index. So there's a very strong correlation. One of the very positive messages that's coming out of the report is that not only between last year and this year have we made progress, but also over the last seven years since we've been producing this report. However, that progress is taking place very slowly. Only six countries have improved by 10 percentage points, and almost 75 countries have improved by less than 5%. So the progress is very slow, even though we are seeing a trend in a positive direction.